So I've made a mess of my ceiling. Uh, this is old plaster ceiling, kind of moves a little bit. You could pretty much tear off the rest of this if you really kept grabbing onto it. But I just took out the chunks that were really loose. What I'm gonna do is just use a little bit of uh, glue and just put that foam inside of here. Now this is adhesive. It's not necessarily foam insulation. And I'm just gonna go all the way around this to glue the existing, what's left of this plaster here so that I can keep it from moving any further than what it is. And then I'm gonna take my extension poles and just hold this tight and let that glue set up. Okay, so that should hold it tight. Let that dry and then we can do the repair. Okay, so we can let that set up. Now we can go ahead and remove our temporary boards. Okay, so that does a good job of holding that together now. So just remove some of that excess foam. You know, anything that's just sticking out beyond the plaster area. And what we're gonna use is stuff called plaster guard or um, plaster weld, I should say. So this stuff allows you to bond nicely to the existing ceiling. It's a really helpful step because it kind of primes the surface for the plaster and gives a better hold. So you can use a paintbrush or a roller, just coat it generously. You know, the only rule with this stuff is it just has to be tacky before you can apply the plaster coat and uh, you know, the, the surface has to be sound. So whatever you're adhering this to, it just has to be well bonded to itself because if the surface underneath, if it's loose, it, this isn't gonna do a very good job. But uh, yeah, this will help, especially against your existing ceiling because we're gonna be feathering outside around this. This is a common area where you can have some problems. So definitely allow this to overcoat around the patch. And this could go on anything. It could be masonry, it can be, you know, tile even, if there was tile on the ceiling for whatever reason. But anything that, uh, this will bond basically to anything. And this is just gonna give that surface a good thing, um, something for that plaster to, to be able to absorb and bond into. So just let that dry. It has to be like a, a tacky consistency before you apply the plaster. So now we'll go ahead and get our base coat in here. A little rough, not a big deal because you'll be putting a veneer coat over that, anyways.
All right, popcorn ceilings. Nothing fun about them. Really not really my ultimate look either, but what I'm gonna be using is this Homax popcorn ceiling, and I'm gonna be using a texture gun as well for this. Really a mess, not something I would normally want to do, especially if I'm doing a new ceiling, but since I'm trying to match what's existing here and I did a whole bunch of patches, I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. So uh, basically you wanna mix this with six quarts of water per bag. So I'm just gonna mix the whole thing. Wow, I really got that all over the camera. I don't know if that was worth it. <laughs> Anyways, got it textured. Now we're ready to prime and paint. Now you would wanna tape everything off if you were to do this in a room that you were trying to keep, fit, you know, that is finished. Um, I'm gonna be painting the entire house, so this was the time to do it. That's kind of why I've avoided it when I did patches before. I just patched it and left it go because of such, why, you know, since it's such a mess to, spray this stuff. So hopefully those tips helped you out.